Concurrency on Olama is possible now. This enables multiple use cases that were not possible before thanks to the new update in Olama 0.2 where you can make multiple models run at the same time. So you can send multiple requests, you can receive multiple responses back and in fact you can also run two different models at the same time like for example a large language model and an embedding model. So I'm going to show you first to start with how to update it. Um, if you do not have Olama at all, I'm a big fan of Olama. Olama is built on top of Llama CPP. So Olama lets you run large language models, the quantized large language models on your local computer on CPU itself. So either you can go here olama.com slash download and download or if you already have got Olama installed. So all you have to do is you have to click the Olama icon there and then you can say restart to update. Once you click restart to update, it is going to restart and update Olama for you. After Olama is updated, then you can just basically open Olama and then start using it. So that is the very first step. Either go to this particular link olama.com slash download and then download it again or just go to the taskbar and then click download it. Once it has been downloaded, all you have to do is you can open whatever terminal that you have got and I've got all these models. As you can see here for our recent uh, tutorial on Llama index or Llama agents, we used RC agent and we also in the same tutorial used Mistral. So what I'm going to do is I have all these models ready. I'm going to open two of these things. So I've got two windows at this point. I'm going to say Olama run 5.3 and I'm going to say Olama run Mistral or maybe we can run RC agent to type this type this and run and run and as you can see here we are trying to run two different models all together two models concurrently in one single computer so it is trying to run both the models using the latest update so as you can see here the first model has been loaded uh, the second model is still getting loaded and this takes a little bit of more memory uplift that you know because you're loading multiple models so i can go ahead and then send a message who are you maybe it's a very bad question who are you to ask an llm i've always told people don't ask this question and uh, RC agent is built on top of Quen and as you can see here it responded and Phi is a model from Microsoft and you also got a Phi response back. Let's ask a different question. Write a tweet about why Olama's concurrency is very helpful. So I'm going to just say the same thing. Write write a tweet about oh I, I should have copied and pasted Olama's concurrency is very helpful and Phi is extremely fast as you can see here experience seamless teamwork with Olama it is built in concurrency it's built in concurrency ensures blah 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 and you have got the productivity boost Olama power concurrency all the hashtags here so as you can see here it lets you run two different models at the same time and that enables a lot of use cases one of the most important use cases that enables is that you can have a truly multi-agent system running on the local machine. So even in the last tutorial that we ran, we had to run two different models, two different agents sequentially than parallelly. But now thanks to this feature from Olama, we can run multiple agents multi-agent system, truly multi-agent system at the same time. So multiple versions of the agents can run simultaneously at the same time. And also we can also run like what we did. We can run a large model and a small model at the same time. So this will enable us try different items, uh, try different prompts. And also sometimes you can have like a layered approach within your use cases, whatever that you want to do with Olama. The second or the third thing, technically we said multiple agents, uh, large and small models side by side. And the third thing is, uh, you can have a retrieval augmented generation system where you can have a large language model for completion like uh, the one that we are running this one and we can also say that uh, we can run a model that is let's say a numbering model so for example if you see my olama list you can see that i've got the embedding model here i've got another embedding model here so i can run this embedding model and i also can run the completion embedding model that means we can run a truly good uh, rag system within your local computer using low llama and these are a couple of uh, use cases for which people were already asking for concurrency but 
a very very big potential that this unlocks is that now you can run probably like a micro SaaS application like if you want to build a startup and if you want to have a micro SaaS, typically previously what you had to do was you had to like ultimately go to an api solution because you needed multi you needed to address you needed to serve multiple users uh, that was always a difficulty with olama because users had to be queued and all the things but now you can serve multiple users simultaneously I think this one enables a lot of potential and uh, I'm quite happy to see that uh, this is currently available here like it is enabled by default in the last version I think it was uh, something that it was optional you had to enable it but in the latest version this is enabled by default for everybody so parallel request is absolutely insane that it's not just parallel request also you can run multiple models so one is that you have the same model the same endpoint you can call that endpoint uh, from two different users so that is parallel request the second one is a uh, parallel models or multiple models that you can run and uh, that also is applicable for embedding model and also the completion model i hope this was helpful to you in unblocking whatever application that you are trying to build on top of olama if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in another video happy prompting